This is Jupiter Today for the 15th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 31 minutes, 49.5 seconds and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 35 minutes, 23.9 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 154.007 degrees, and that's 1.125 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 4. 0.641 degrees, and that's 0.187 degrees less than what it was yesterday. And the distance continues to get shorter and shorter. Today it's 661,736,028 kilometers, and that's 1,038,518 kilometers closer than what it was yesterday. The relative velocity between the Earth and Jupiter is 43,271.58 kilometers per hour moving towards one another primarily due to the motion of the Earth around the Sun and that velocity is 1,722.67 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 109.17 degrees, CM2 297.84 degrees, CM3 200.31 degrees. So all four Galilean moons today are interacting with Jupiter in some way. You can see that Eo is moving in front of Jupiter from Earth's perspective. This is the line of sight to Earth, and line of sight to the Sun. This is the phase angle. And as you can see, Io passes in front of Jupiter from Earth's point of view, and the three other moons pass behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. At zero hours UTC, Io begins the day in quadrant two heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant four heading east, as well as Ganymede and Callisto. At six hours UTC, Eos still in quadrant two heading west. Europa and Ganymede and Callisto continue in quadrant four heading east. By 12 hours UTC, Io has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three heading west. And Europa is moving behind Jupiter, moving into quadrant one, going east. And Ganymede also is gonna be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's perspective. And will also be moving into quadrant one heading east. By 18 hours UTC, Io is near its western elongation, still in quadrant three. Europa and Ganymede are now in quadrant one, heading east, and Callisto is just about to move into the shadow of Jupiter. As seen from Earth, you can see this line of sight is the sun, so Jupiter will be casting its shadow along that line. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Io is in quadrant four heading east. And Europa is in quadrant one heading east, as well as Ganymede and Callisto. There were 11 Jupiter satellite events today. The first is at 814 UTC, and actually I'll keep this graphic up so you can sort of watch these things happen 
while I read them off. At 8.14 UTC, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 8.46, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 9.08 UTC, Europa moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 10.31, EO's shadow egresses. At 11.03, the transit of EO ends. At 11.16 UTC, Ganymede moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 13.14, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. At 16.49, Callisto disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. 17.06 UTC, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter. 21.42, Callisto reappears from the shadow of Jupiter. And at 2153, Callisto moves behind Jupiter. There are three satellite mutual events. And once again, I'm introducing a new graphic. This is a Google Earth view. And this point here, in the center of the screen, that small point, is the location on the Earth where Jupiter appears directly overhead. So Jupiter would be at the zenith at this particular time, which is the time of the first satellite mutual event. And what this shows is what part of the planet will be able to see this event. And as you can see, most of North America, very, very low for you South Americans, and anyone in Hawaii will be able to see this. It's on the night side of the planet. Here's the sun over here. And this event takes place at 1045 and goes to 1049 UTC and it's when EO eclipses Ganymede. This is a 4.1 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.081 magnitudes. The separation of Ganymede from Jupiter is 31.44 arc seconds, so very, very close to Jupiter. And Io and Jupiter are 35.46 arc seconds apart. The next mutual event takes place at 1056 UTC. And goes to 11.59, and that's when EO is going to occult Ganymede. This is a 3.2 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.044 magnitudes. This event takes place 17.38 arc seconds from Jupiter. But again, this is the location on the Earth where Jupiter at that time would appear directly overhead. So again, some in North America, Hawaii is going to have a, a great view almost directly overhead. And the third mutual event for today takes place from 1230 UTC to 1239, and that's when EO eclipses Callisto. This is an 8.6 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.483, so that's a very deep eclipse. And it's 83.81 arc seconds from Jupiter, and Io and Callisto are 53.61 arc seconds apart. Now I'll show those mutual events from Earth's perspective. Here's the first one. When Io is eclipsing Ganymede, you can see that Io is actually transiting Jupiter while eclipsing Ganymede. And the second one is at 11.56, and that's EO occulting Ganymede. You can see how close to the, to the planet this is. This is going to be a difficult one, but a very nice one, because Jupiter will probably be in the field of view of your image. And the third one's at 12.30, and that's when EO eclipses Callisto. Now this is an interesting configuration because Io is actually in the shadow of Jupiter at this time. 
but Callisto is not. But the shadow of Io is going to be cast upon Callisto. And we can actually go to our graphic to see that. That would be kind of interesting to see the configuration of the moons from this point of view. It's at about 12.30. There's 0, there's 6, there's 12. And so it's just a little bit past 12.30. And Callisto's back here, a little bit past, past that. So this line here actually is parallel to the gray line. And that's why we're going to be seeing a shadow. But now you can see that this shadow is being cast all the way back here. That's a long shadow. Okay, 24 hours of a Jupiter sky. Sped up a little bit. But this is what the sky looks like from Jupiter, if you were standing on the equator and looking out to the stars. Jupiter rotates once on its axis about every 10 hours, but look at the alignment there. That's a triple alignment. Fabulous. I wish we could be there to see it. Spectacular. That is going to be absolutely spectacular to be able to see, but nobody's there to see it. The red spot crosses the meridian of Jupiter twice today, the first at 425 UTC and the second at 1421 UTC. There were some new images posted on the 12th of January. Very nice structure here. Look at that regular pattern. And there was also some new radio data. And there were no new papers. The time of this recording is 23.15 UTC on the 14th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Appreciate you watching. Like to hear any comments or suggestions or questions you have. You can also send your images of Jupiter to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.